And I want to focus on this one. Right. First four years, Dan O'Dowd, two and eight with a 6.56 ERA. And he talked with Scott Braun after yesterday's game, the ups and downs that he's having this, in, the, in this baseball life. He led the league in wins this year. What did you notice last night? Yeah, I think overall, I think it's important. Like, he's a perfect example. We have an industry that rushed to judgment really mm -hmm. quickly on prospects. He was a fifth-round selection overall. We place pro players in two categories, success or failure, real quickly. Mm -hmm. Player development is not linear. Every player has their own unique path to find themselves. It took Kyle a little longer. It took him a while to figure out what kind of pitcher he needed to be at the major league level to take his talent and his skills and apply it in a way that can impact. We saw that last night. Last night was a culmination of that. Biggest game of his career. Actually, probably the biggest game of the season last night for the Atlanta Braves. And what did Kyle do? He attacked the strike zone from the first pitch on. When we look at this heat map, which we're going to pull up, it's incredible from, from the first pitch. So 38 pitches in the zone. He gave up one hit. So he went out, out there with the mentality of, I'm going to throw my sinker, I'm going to throw my four-seamer up, and then when I get ahead in the count, I'm going to lock you up, which is now a devastating curveball, which we'll see right now. He got to great counts because of his fastball command, and then he had an eight curveball last night. He tunneled it late. It had late action on it. They did not see it. They had no chance. Six punch outs, four on curveballs, and I am so proud of the pitcher that he's turned into. He was locked in from day one, and if you saw him a few years ago, it would have been hard to envision that. That's why everybody in the industry just needs to be patient with their young players. No, I want it now, DOD. Exactly. I mean, we got it from Kyle Wright last night, that's for sure. Game three, we know it'll be Aaron Nola for Philadelphia. We don't know. Well, Stry well, we know it'll be Nola, no. but do the Braves counter with Strider, who to me, honestly, was their best starting pitcher this year. Once he went in the rotation, he was basically unhittable. If they can get two times through the lineup with him, I think it sets them up really well because then they have Charlie Morton with all his experience waiting in game four. Really interesting decision what they do. I mean, you talk about player development. You just look at the Atlanta organization, right? I mean, if you were to get one rookie to hit in a season and where they're producing for a World Series contest, like Michael Harris the second, well, then you add Spencer Strider. Oh, and then Vaughn Grissom. Yeah, they do a great I job mean, of scouting on. their kind of players, and they do a wonderful job of putting their players in the best position they can be for their skill set to impact their team.